Good evening, and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace, we are back. First of all, thank you all who watched last week's episode. We raised over $100 million for the American Heart Association. Okay, maybe not. But we did get, we did raise some money for the American Heart Association, and I hope you loved the Heart Healthy episode. We enjoyed doing it, and again, special thanks to the American Heart Association for, uh, for uh, asking us to do it, so thank you so much. All right, um, tonight, we're gonna jump right into dinner. No air fryer. Mm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know. I was getting used to everything coming out of the air fryer for a while. But we're gonna make breaded pork chops, and you're gonna think to yourself, "Well, it's you know fried or whatever." No, it's baked breaded pork chops, and it's not like you're seasoning. We'll show you kind of a cool way to do it. Really easy, really fun, really tasty, really yummy. Mm -hmm. So, um, family here loves it. Can't say I have it for our date nights, and uh, I tell you, every time it works. <laughs> so. Unfortunately, she's, in never, dreams. she's never in the room when it happens. But anyway, um, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, but as always, before we start, we want to say uh, if you're in the Germantown, Maryland area, and you're looking for the best selection of beer, wine, girly drinks. Hard seltzer. Whatever it is. That crap that she drinks. Um, <laughs> go to uh, go see Andrew at uh, Fox Chapel Shopping Center, Chapel Beer and Wine. Let him know that Mr. Mike or yes, Candace. said you. He'll take great care of you. Um, he hasn't been watching our shows, so we won't say it'll be free. So, Andrew, if you stop watching, it's back to being free. But anyway, so thank you again, Andrew, for listening to the beginning. So, let's just jump in and get started. All right. First thing you do, you go to your, uh, your, your butcher or your meat place, and you get pork chops. Good old-fashioned pork chops. Get the ones with the bones. They tend to be a little tastier. Then what you want to do is you want to get yourself an egg wash. You get ready for the egg wash, which is basically one egg, some milk. Two tablespoons. And then uh, for the breading, as opposed to using breadcrumbs or anything, you're going to use actual stuffing. Now, we're not going to tell you that we got this at Wegmans, um, but uh, you can use any kind of pork, it should be the pork flavor or the savory herb flavor. So you'll take the stuffing, you're going to put it right into a bowl, and you're going to dip it after you do the egg wash. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. We're going to make the egg wash first. You all know how to do that. Egg and milk, beat it like you're making a uh, scrambled egg. All right, so while she was uh, beating the egg like a red headed stepchild, um, I put the stuffing into the bowl that we're going to use and also preheated the oven to 425 degrees. Um, you want to make sure you do that 425 degrees in your oven. If you're using an air fryer, 425 degrees. Anyway, so take the pork chop, put it in the egg wash, okay? Basically what you do is you just get it nice and covered with egg, and then you take it and you put it... your crunchy stuffing. Yep. Okay. And then you put it in here. And then just take a little bit. If it doesn't stick real well, just take a little bit and put it on top. Do it for all six of them. All right, so after you egg washed it and roll it in the, uh, the stuffing, let me show you what it looks like. We had five of them in our dish isn't as big as I thought it was. <laughs> Size really is important. Um, so anyway, that's what it looks like, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in the oven, 425 degrees, if I haven't said that already, 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, we're gonna flip it, do it for 10 more minutes, and then eat it and enjoy it. So, so we'll go ahead and we'll put them in there, get them cooked, and we'll take them out, and we'll show you what it looks like. So, see you right back. Just real quick, uh, when you're getting the pork chops, try and get the thinner ones. Uh, if you get the real thick ones, it will adjust your time. Your date night is supposed to be about getting ready before the, your spouse, significant other, loved one um, gets here or comes So you might home. need the meal prep to be quick, is what he's trying to say. I can't talk today. But anyway, we'll be back when it's done. Be right back. All right, so 20 minutes passed. Pull them out. Um, little crunchy pork chops. We're going to go ahead and cut them. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. You're going to get the hell out of my way. I'm going to get the hell out of my way. You're gonna get out of your own way? I'm, I can't get out of my own way. Now, he made this because he caught me eating the the stuffing dry. Because I like how crunchy it is. So that's why he threw this together. It's actually a great recipe because you don't have to worry about breading it and all that kind of stuff. And the, the stuffing is really good. It, it does have the flavor to it and adds a little bit of crunch to it. Um, and, and you know, so as I said, we love it, and we know you will too. Mm. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. 
All right, so let us know what you think. Send us some uh, some comments. Let us know how, uh, how you liked it. So as always, when you're watching the videos, that little subscribe button, please make sure you click subscribe. Subscribe, please. Subscribe, please. It actually helps us. Our dishwasher broke, so we need money. So please, uh, so the more subscriptions, uh, more people that watch, uh, we get to pay your dishwasher. So anyway, uh, please make sure you share with everyone you know, everyone you like, all your kids' parents, um, all your kids, not your kids' parents. <laughs> your kids' parents, would it, one of them would be you. Hopefully. Um, <laughs> your kids' friends. Uh, are your kids friends, parents, uh, your neighbors? Yeah, not child appropriate. People you work kids with? Kids parents. Uh, I don't know. Who else? People you hate. People you hate, whatever. Share it with everyone how you feel like at this point because I can't talk at all. Um, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday, as always, every Saturday, 8 p.m. on Cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. today. <laughs> we'll be back when it's done. Be right back. I'm gonna drink some more beer. Because that's gonna help. Fuck it. <laughs> Alexa, make announcement. Quiet on the set. We are filming now. Look. Don't respond because I'm gonna keep responding back. I don't even know what he said. He said okay. You know, you have only yourself to blame. It's because he's an extrovert. And he likes playing with the tech. Which is also your fault. I get that, but when I say quiet, don't respond back. He's eight. He doesn't get it.